Should you connect the ground wire to your air fryer? The short answer is yes, absolutely. In fact, all appliances with metal components should be grounded to prevent electric shock. Now, you might be thinking, but my air fryer has a plastic housing, so it doesn't need to be grounded, right? Wrong. While it's true that plastic is an insulator and won't conduct electricity, your air fryer still likely has metal components, like the heating element or the basket handle, that could become electrified if there's a fault in the wiring. A ground wire provides a direct path for electrical current to flow to the ground, rather than through your body. This is crucial in appliances that have metal components, as the metal can become electrified if there's a fault in the wiring. If you were to touch the electrified metal while also grounded, the electrical current could flow through your body, potentially causing injury or even death. But why do faults in wiring happen in the first place? There are several potential causes. One common issue is a short circuit, which occurs when a hot wire comes into contact with a neutral wire or ground wire. This can happen if the insulation on the wires is damaged, exposing the wires and allowing them to touch. Another potential issue is a ground fault, which occurs when the hot wire comes into contact with a grounded surface, like the metal casing of an appliance. This can happen if the insulation on the hot wire is damaged, causing it to touch the ground surface. Regardless of the cause, faults in wiring can be dangerous, which is why it's so important to have safety features like a ground wire in place. Now, let's talk specifically about air fryers. Air fryers are becoming increasingly popular in kitchens around the world, as they allow you to enjoy crispy, delicious fried foods with less oil and fat than traditional deep frying methods. But like any electrical appliance, air fryers can be dangerous if not used properly. Most air fryers have a heating element that gets very hot during use. If the wiring is faulty and the heating element becomes electrified, touching it could result in serious injury. Additionally, many air fryers have metal components, like the basket handle or the cooking basket, which can also become electrified if there's a fault in the wiring. Connecting the ground wire to your air fryer is a simple way to mitigate these risks. By providing a direct path for electrical current to flow to the ground, the ground wire helps to prevent electric shock and keeps you and your family safe. To connect the ground wire to your air fryer, you'll need to locate the green or bare copper wire that runs from the air fryer's plug to the appliance itself. You'll then need to attach this wire to the ground prong on the plug. This can be a bit tricky, so if you're unsure, it's always best to consult a licensed electrician. In summary, connecting the ground wire to your air fryer is a simple but essential step in ensuring electrical safety in your home. It helps to prevent electric shock and keeps you and your family safe, especially in appliances with metal components like air fryers. Always prioritize electrical safety in your home and consult a professional if you're unsure about any electrical work. Thanks for tuning into Electricity Frenzy, and we'll see you next time.